Hey guys, salut, this is Alex from French Guy Cooking and today I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious and sweet chocolate souffle. This dessert will have a rich and chocolatey flavor, indulgent and decadent. You can keep that for special occasions to impress your guests. So if you've seen my stuff before, you know that I like simplifying French cooking and make it more accessible. So souffle means to blow or to puff. And we use that word because the steam is what makes the souffle rise. So a souffle is made around two things. First off, a creamy base and then a foam, usually egg whites. So to start off, we need to prepare the mold and brush them with melted butter twice instead of once because we absolutely don't want the souffle to stay stuck at the bottom. They go in the fridge to chill. Let's prepare the creamy base. Turn on the heat on medium, place a saucepan and pour in 300 milliliters of whole milk. To that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons, that's 20 grams of cornstarch. Stir this nicely and don't stop stirring actually because otherwise it will burn. While this is slowly heating up and I'm keeping an eye on it, you want to break up 300 grams of dark chocolate, at least 70% dark chocolate. Very intense in terms of flavor. As soon as it reaches a simmer, then you can pour it over the chocolate bits. Now combine those together until you get a smooth texture. Right, so this is the texture you want, glossy and smooth. So at this time of the recipe, you have to resist the urge to dip your whole body in this mixture. So to make this base a bit more sturdy, we're gonna need to add two egg yolks, but save your egg whites for later because we are gonna need them. So keep in mind to buy the best quality eggs you can afford. Now combine those together. Okay, so I reckon this is good. Let's move on and whisk those egg whites. I already have two egg whites from the previous steps, so let's add one. So in the bowl of a stand mixer, let's add three egg whites and one tablespoon of caster sugar. At first, you want to mix this slowly just to combine the eggs with the sugar. And then you can increase the speed and slowly, slowly add five tablespoons of sugar. So that's the texture you're looking for. Firm peaks that looks like a bird's beak. And in French, we call it un bec d'oiseau. Right, so this is the technical part of the recipe. You want to mix the creamy base in the egg whites, but not exactly mixing. In fact, we are going to fold it. Keep in mind to add the creamy base gradually. So folding means taking the egg whites from the bottom and placing them on top. Turn, repeat. So the reason why we are folding instead of stirring, I mean gently folding it, is because we want to keep the air into the mixture. If we just stir it simply, then we are going to lose all the air and the souffle is not going to rise up. I reckon the mixture is ready, but before we pour it in the mold, we need to coat them another time with butter and a sprinkle of sugar. So the reason why we are coating the sides with caster sugar is because we want to create some tiny little bearings that will help the souffle rise. Right, everything is ready, let's fill those ramekins. So as you can see, those ramekins are a bit higher than your normal ones, but the reason behind it is that we want to get that vertical rise in the oven. Place those on a baking tray and it goes in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit for about 20 to 22 minutes. These are our beauties out of the oven. Look how they nicely puffed up. This one is a bit broken, but nobody will care. Come on, you made souffle. Right, let's have a taste. Mm. The texture is so light. It's airy, it's fluffy, yet it has some intense um, chocolate flavors. The thing is, it's almost cloudy. 
Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy this brilliant yet simple souffle recipe. And if you did, then give it a like, thumbs up and share that over on your social media. Also, do not forget to subscribe to FoodTube for more delicious recipes and to my own channel as well. See you guys. Bye-bye.